Well, welcome to the Foreign Office as part of Open House Weekend. You're very, very welcome here. I'm William Haig, the Foreign Secretary, and I want to extend a warm welcome to all of you looking round the building this weekend. It's a building full of history, of course. At the bottom of the grand staircase, you can see the bust of Charles James Fox, the first Foreign Secretary, right back in 1782. And this building itself was uh, constructed in the 19th century. My office has been in constant use by Foreign Secretaries since 1868 and seen an extraordinary amount of history. It was at the windows of that office that Sir Edward Grey, the Foreign Secretary in 1914, uh, stood on the outbreak of the First World War and famously said, the lamps are going out all over Europe. We shall not see them lit again in our lifetime. And so it's a very important historical building uh, from the point of view of British history and British government. Um, it's been through some difficult times as a building. It was extensively refurbished in the 1980s. Another of my predecessors, Sir Geoffrey Howe, discovered the need for that when the ceiling fell down in the Foreign Secretary's office. And other parts of the building had ceased to be appreciated over the years. The Locarno rooms uh, had become used as offices uh, in the Second World War, and much of their decoration had become invisible. Uh, the beautiful Durba Court, a very important part of the building, uh, that of course was, was part of the India office when, when that was uh, part of these buildings, had also uh, largely been lost to view uh, when the pigeons were evicted and the roof was mended. It was discovered there was a magnificent marble floor there. So the Foreign Office today looks rather better than it has at times over recent decades. And we look after it proudly because, of course, it is a historical building. Uh, it is an important feature of London and of the United Kingdom, but it is something much more than that. It is a hub. It is a hub of a global network of 240 embassies, high commissions, consulates. It's a building that is working 24 hours a day. There are always people at work day and night every day of the year in this building, keeping in touch with our embassies on different time zones across the world. It's the centre of our work to pursue the prosperity of British people, uh, promoting British business and investment and exports overseas, and the security of British people, uh, trying to make sure that we anticipate threats to this country and its citizens, and that we deal with those threats by negotiation or whatever other action we have to take. And it's the place where we try to look after British citizens overseas uh, through our consular department and the work they do for so many thousands of people who experience difficulties when they are abroad. So prosperity, security, our consular work, these all take place here from the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. We're proud of that work and do it as best we can. We can and we're proud of this building. And welcome again to the Foreign and Commonwealth Office.